Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. Polkadot is playing out uh, at the moment. We identified in the last video here, you can see the ascending trend line. We identified here a ascending triangle and we were heading into the apex of that triangle. And as usually what you get with an ascending triangle is typically, um, more often than not at least, here a breakout to the upside. Now that happened, yeah, we had this um, neckline or whatever here, this horizontal resistance line of this head and shoulders. Uh, no, sorry, it's already late here. Of this ascending trend line, um, this was here basically this level here at $19. Yeah, $19.11 is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. So with a little bit of a a large green candle actually we moved through this level here and we had a bit of a zone going on here as well you can see that these two red lines resistance support zone we moved above that and um, yeah we actually did move all the way up to twenty dollars and twenty two um now of course you know we made it above that previous high which is good we now need to make it above that next high at 2022 the, the first rejection point we had here and then I think we can get to $22.50, okay? That would be the next logical level for me. I mean, we can double check with the VPVR indicator what it shows us. And da -da 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 -da. yeah, so we can see that obviously currently where we just broke through this red line here, this is a key resistance and now support level on the VPVR. So it's important that we did make it through and we can now hold above it. Um, yeah, next zone here. Well, it's actually showing here on the VPVR a little bit lower than that 2250, more around here 2180. But again, it's more often a zone than just one particular price level. So I would say, yeah, around $22, we can expect then the next resistance. Um, that is starting to look good. The EMA ribbon, so we're here on the daily. You can see that the price has broken above the EMA ribbon on the daily. We have seen now various cryptos to break above the daily EMA ribbon. Now important is that the daily candle is closing above that. That would need to be a daily candle close above roughly $19.50. Then we have closed above the entire daily EMA ribbon. That will then possibly create a long signal here at some point when they start to cross, because that is what they do. The more short-term indicator, the more short-term EMAs crossing above the more long-term EMAs, and then you get these um, yeah, bullish crosses, and these are buy signals. So we've got that. Um, we are above it on the daily. That means we are already above it on the eight-hour chart. Yeah, we had that long signal here. Pretty sure we talked about that in the last video already, that long signal. Um, so generally looking not too bad, but also what we need to say here, whatever's coming up here, in my opinion, still looks very corrective, yeah? Therefore, Despite potential short-term upside, which is always possible, my primary expectation remains that we still come down lower, okay? Once more. Um, I have to be very, very um, clear with that because even if we have short-term upside, and that upside could get all the way up to, as I said, you know, maybe here, 2250 first, and then you could even get up to those highs here at around $31, yeah? Absolutely. Um, if we take the FIPS here, there is always upside potential there. I mean, we could even get here to the 0.5 FIP level at 34.50 uh, or even to $40, the 61.8% FIP level, yeah? So this is always possible, especially um, at the moment where the indicators do support rising prices. This does not mean, however, that the correction is finished. Um, it rather means that we have an extended correction, which is not really what I like to see, but it is what we might have to deal with if Bitcoin now decides to start to move up and also here Polkadot. That means that what we have to see here before we actually get into this yellow target area up there, which would for the, be the price target for the next major wave up, that we get something like that where we move up first and then come down and complete the correction. Yeah, um, we haven't completed the correction. I, I remain you know, very clear in my view here. Um, and therefore I think we're gonna come down once more and we're going to see that. But that could be after some initial upside, absolutely, yeah? Because it looks good at the moment, generally, the indicators show um, positive and we are breaking here currently key resistance levels, so it's starting to look interesting, but the primary expectation still remains that we are going to come further down. 
So that's really everything I can tell you at the moment for Polkadot. Uh, before I forget, the, the next major wave to the upside price targets at least is the 1.618 FIP extension that is at least $81. But we could also see the $131 level that is the 2.618 Fibonacci extension. That is only for the next wave three, after which you would get a wave four to the downside. We can't really calculate that where that will be until we reach, until we see where the wave three ended. And then we also have a wave five. And again, we can't really calculate that yet. A bit too early for that. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe. And again, if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership where you can get access to the weekly live stream every Sunday, um, the Telegram live chat, the Discord server, and for gold members now, um, fairly new is the analysis about various stocks and shares and um, yeah, entries and exits into various stocks and shares. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.